Welcome back to High Farm Life. We're going to get the 4020 and we're going to go get the post pounder. I'm borrowing it from my cousin. In the past, I've used a pounder for the skid loader, but this time of year, it's harder to get across the ground with a skid loader that ain't got tracks on it. So I'll just use a three point one. And my skid loader does not have the the high volume sump return for the pounder. And we'll get the 4020 fired up. Then I believe I've got a chain on the three point arms I need to take off. I can, yeah, so I can go get the pounder. Right, guys it's day two building fence I didn't get much footage last night because i was still learning to run this post driver and stuff i've run one before but i just needed some time to figure this one out it works pretty good i still think that if i when i buy one i think it's going to be for a skid loader um the only issue we really had was the the oil return for it goes back in where the dipstick goes and it blew out and 
covered the tractor in oil last night and the guy I had driving it got some oil on him too. But we drove that fence line up there this morning. And we'll get ready and now that we got things figured out, I'll try to get the camera set up and get you some better footage of the driving posts. I don't know if we might get to doing some wire today, but I'm not sure yet. Now here we go. These are fence steeples. This is how you hold them to the wood posts. You just drive them into it. We're gonna set a post right here at the corner of this old cat a lot. We're gonna run straight across to the posts we set down there. And I'm gonna put a 16 foot gate in here so that way I can get in here. If I want to make hay off here, I can get all the hay equipment in. But we'll get back to work on that tomorrow. So that'll probably be all for today's video. This video is actually made over three days, but Comment and subscribe if you like the video and know somebody else that might like it. Tell them about it. Thanks for watching.